on which Oracle server is running. So we're gonna call this whole virtual machine virtual machine as Oracle server. Okay, it is a software. A virtual machine is a software emulating as a as a hardware. Okay, so where would the client be? Because it's a it's it's a three tier environment uh, where you can access Oracle software through your browser. Okay, the browser is your third tier, and uh, you can have basically uh, Oracle installed on three tier or two tier. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna install Oracle on two tiers. That means all the services of Oracle would be running on this virtual machine. In production environment, Oracle installed on basically three tier. That means we have two machines handling the load of Oracle services. One is called a backend database server and one is called the middle tier server, okay, or application server. Take my other tutorials uh, where uh, I'm, I've talked about these uh, technical architecture in detail, okay? But on this uh, machine, what we're gonna do is we're gonna install both services, backend services and middle tier services on one machine. So this whole thing would be your Oracle server and you're gonna use the browser of your main computer that would be on, on Vista, okay? So, but uh, I'm gonna, I'm calling this external, the, the main, hardware uh, as your client box okay so your main computer will be used as a client machine and your virtual machine within the Vista would be ser serving as a server hardware all right so having said that you will be using your browser on Microsoft Vista operating system to access Oracle software running on your virtual machine operating system all right so we have a client server kind of environment where the server is sitting on the virtual machine and your client is actually the real machine all right now <coughs> prerequisites so what I suggest is if you need a practice box you go and get a brand new computer with Windows Vista any addition would do okay I know there are a couple of editions of Vista okay you can also try this strategy on any operating system including Macintosh or any other Linux but if you have a Linux then there's no point installing a virtual machine just install Oracle directly on Linux okay <coughs> now make sure your computer has at least 3 gigabyte of RAM why is that because when you turn on virtual machine it occupies lots of your uh, resources so we're going to dedicate <coughs> excuse me two gigabyte of RAM to your virtual machine and we're gonna dedicate one gigabyte of RAM to your actual machine okay so you need at least three gig and four would be like awesome make sure you have at least 200 gigabyte of free space for vision installation okay and 100 gigabyte for production or fresh installation what is vision and what is production when you install Oracle you have the option of doing a vision install vision install means when Oracle is installed a company which has volunteered it's called vision uh, operations is a company which has volunteered Oracle to distribute its implementation with its uh, installation so people who wants to learn and explore uh, a company which is already implemented within the software they can choose vision installation but w the way I teach is I really uh, suggest that you go with a fresh installation that means when you will start Oracle application there won't be any company already implemented in it and based on with the help of my tutorials you implement your own company from scratch because there are few points in Oracle ERP where vision installation is going to interfere in your implementing your own company on top of vision uh, installation okay because in Oracle you can implement multiple companies okay like if you have inst installed Oracle with vision uh, version then that doesn't mean that you have to live with vis vision enterprise you can basically install another company maybe uh, you know two three more companies it doesn't really matter but vision installation will interfere at, at few occasions and you won't be able to really uh, grasp the concept because as a consultant you should be able to 
implement a company from scratch when you go to a real project you won't have vision installation there you will have a fresh installation so I suggest you go with a fresh uh, you know install install but you can choose any it doesn't really matter uh, most of my tutorials are assuming uh, that you know you have done a fresh install but at each occasion I point out the differences okay uh, on, on fresh install versus product and vision install there are only few occasions where where the conflict happens and most of the time I, I'll point that out so even if you are doing vision install you will be able to take my tutorials and do another installation another implementation on top of vision install okay 